रिसेंटली सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने एक कॉस्मो फिल्म में एक बहुत ही महत्वपूर्ण जजमेंट दिया है विच इज डीलिंग विद दी प्री इम्पोर्ट कंडीशन अंडर दी फॉरन ट्रेड पॉलिसी इन कस्टम्स लॉ पहले बिफोर डिस्कसिंग दी दी वॉट दी जजमेंट इज आई विल टेक यू थ्रू वॉट दी फैक्ट्स वर एंड वाई दी सुप्रीम कोर्ट सेट वॉट इट सेट द फैक्ट्स वर दैट इन टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन नोटिफिकेशन वॉज इशूड बाई दी कस्टम्स टू फुलफिल दी फॉरन ट्रेड पॉलिसी बेनिफिट दी नोटिफिकेशन वॉज एटीन बाई टू थाउजेंड एटीन विच ग्रांटेड एन एग्जेम्शन फ्रॉम पेमेंट ऑफ सर्टन टैक्सेस against the advance authorization whereby the exporters used to import uh, inputs use them for uh, production and export those uh, final products the exemption was given for levy of uh, basic customs duty the cvd which is which is the excise duty the special additional duty which was uh, in lieu of uh, vat vat सेफ गार्ड ड्यूटी एंड एंटी डंपिंग ड्यूटी तो अगर आप इम्पोर्ट करते थे उस उन गुड्स को यूज़ करके एक्सपोर्ट करने के लिए एंड यू हैड टेकन दी एडवांस ऑथराइजेशन बेनिफिट फ्रॉम दी डी जी एफ टी तो आपको ये इम्पोर्ट करते वक्त ये चार पाँच टैक्सेस नहीं भरने होते थे और ये बेनिफिट इसलिए दिया गया था ताकि एक्सपोर्टर्स की कॉस्ट ऑफ प्रोडक्शन कम हो और उसका कॉम्पिटिटिव प्राइसिंग हो वर्ल्ड मार्केट में but when gst was introduced in july of 2017 this notification of 2015 was not amended it continued but we, as we all know cvd and sed were not no more applicable but is notification ko amend na karne se jo igst aur uh, compensation cess lagne wala tha wo importers ko bharna pad raha tha so they uh, thought ki there is a mistake इन दिस नोटिफिकेशन कि ये अमेंड करना चाहती थी गवर्नमेंट पर नहीं किया है दे कंटिन्यूड विद दैट अप्रोच दे डिड नॉट पे दी आई जी एस टी सम ऑफ दैम राधर डिड नॉट पे दी आई जी एस टी एंड दी गवर्नमेंट डिपार्टमेंट द डी आर आई स्टार्टेड एन इन्वेस्टिगेशन राधर बिफोर द इन्वेस्टिगेशन नोटिफिकेशन वॉज इशूड ऑन थर्टियथ थर्टीन अक्टूबर टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन whereby this notification was amended and said ki aapko igst aur compensation cess ka bhi exemption milega but they introduced two new conditions that exemption will be available only for physical exports so deemed exporters ko ye benefit nahi milne wala tha dusri jo condition unhone introduce ki aur jiske upar ye pura case adharit hai it was a condition of pre import whereby the exporter was required to import the goods first use them first produce the final products and then export the exporter said ki isme to humko bahut time lag jayega hamara jab export order aata hai tabhi hum import ke liye order place karte hain to wo jab process hoga india mein aayega fir hum usko use karenge aur fir export karenge to usme 6 se 8 mahine humko lag jayenge to they wanted ki ye one to one correlation na ho और हमको जो भी हमारे पास गुड्स इन्वेंट्री में है उसी से हम प्रोडक्ट्स करके प्रोडक्शन करके जो हम एक्सपोर्ट करेंगे तो वो हमको अलाउ कर दिया जाए दे सम ऑफ देम कंटिन्यूड विद दिस अप्रोच दे वेन एवर दे इम्पोर्टेड दे डिड नॉट पे दी आई जी एस टी नाउ डी आर आई स्टार्टेड इन्वेस्टिगेशन एंड द व्यू ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट वॉज कि दिस प्री इम्पोर्ट कंडीशन इज मैंडेटरी गुजरात हाईकोर्ट में जब मैटर गया तो द हाईकोर्ट agreed with the petitioners the uh, taxpayers and said ki this condition is creating an impossibility for the exporters whereby they are not able to do business efficiently and if the entire uh, condition is uh, satisfied the exemption becomes illusory so the government struck down this condition uh, the sorry not the government the uh, high court struck down this condition the government went to the supreme court and supreme court in this recent judgment has spoken against the taxpayer and said that this condition is mandatory the reasoning which the supreme court is has given is very important and it will apply in many other cases as well the first reasoning that the supreme court has given is 
that the plea of impossibility cannot be a reason to read down the law. So, if you say that it is an impossible condition for me, then the law can't be done in that way. Second, uh, plea, uh, the reasoning given by the Supreme Court is the differential treatment for BCD and IGST cannot be accepted. कि भाई इनका ये पिटिशनर्स का व्यू था कि बीसीडी के लिए तो आप प्री इम्पोर्ट की कंडीशन नहीं रख रहे हो तो फिर आईजीएसटी के लिए क्यों तो द सुप्रीम कोर्ट सेड कि देर कैन बी टू डिफरेंट कंडीशन फॉर द सेम ट्रांजैक्शन फॉर डिफरेंट टैक्सेस देर इज नथिंग रॉन्ग इन इट द गवर्नमेंट हैज द पावर टू डू दैट द रीजनिंग द थर्ड रीजनिंग द सुप्रीम कोर्ट गेव वॉज दैट द बेसिक कस्टम ड्यूटी इज अ कॉस्ट for the exporter whereas igst if he had paid at the right time it would have been eligible for credit to him so it would not have become a cost wo usko ya to refund mil jata hai ya usko credit ko use kar sakta tha for domestic output taxes fourth reasoning was this the foreign trade policy mechanism does not have the power to make anything retrospective so this uh, exemption of igst which was not given to them in 2017 it was restored in january of 2019 so the next plea that the petitioners took was ki ye jo aapne 2019 mein kiya hai ye aapne 2017 mein galti kar di thi usko sudhara hai isliye ye january 2019 ke notification ko retrospective mana jaye the supreme court said no the foreign trade policy does not have the power to do anything retrospectively and last reasoning that the supreme court gave was that government has the right to withdraw any condition any time to unhone jab 2017 mein wo condition dali to wo unka right tha aur jab 2019 mein nikali to wo bhi unka right tha so you cannot say that they did not have the right to remove it later or uh, to not give it earlier and the final judgment basis this reasoning was ki the government was right the petitioners will have to pay the igst and the compensation says wherever applicable on all those imports and uh, that will have to be paid now because i think all the show cause notice have been issued where exporters have not satisfied pre import conditions they will have to pay the igst and says respondent exporters are to be allowed credit or refund of whatever igst they pay so ye ek bahut hi achhi cheez supreme court ne kahi hai ki aapko bharna to hai hi but then you can go to your jurisdictional commissioner and apply for a refund or recredit of whatever you have paid because us waqt agar aapne bhara hota to aapko ye credit mil jata aur refund bhi mil jata and the exporters are uh, the uh, are asked to approach the Uh, jurisdictional commissioner within 6 weeks of the date of this judgment so the clock is ticking so all those people who were in this litigation should quickly go pay the taxes and approach the jurisdictional commissioner claim shall be examined by the jurisdictional uh, officers and case to case basis ya to recreate denge ya aur ek aur bhi jo mahatvapurn isme baat the the most important thing that is coming out of this judgment is the supreme court has asked the government to issue a circular and prescribe the procedure whereby the exporters how do they pay this how do they approach for uh, recredit and refund so ideally government will be issuing this circular very soon so this judgment brings closure to a very very big issue now what happens to interest and penalty in my view because this tax the the supreme court has said this tax is required to be paid so will the interest be the argument of revenue neutrality neutrality can be uh, litigated further but my view is that first you pay the taxes and if you want you can fight for the interest on the grounds of revenue neutrality but pay this and seek refund as soon as you as you can because the window is very small it's only 6 weeks and the penalty will most probably be removed because it was an interpretation based issue no suppression was there 
so i think uh, if if the people are paying the taxes and the applicable interest penalty will be removed later sooner or later so i guess i have explained the entire uh, crux of this matter i hope this is useful to you thank you